What's up everyone, welcome to my ninth After Effects tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to adjust the speeds and velocities of your keyframes on a motion path. So the first thing we want to do is make a motion path using the position hotkey P. So I'm going to take Charlie and move him down to the bottom left and make his first keyframe there. Then um, about halfway through the animation He's going to go up, and at the end, he's going to end in the bottom right-hand corner. Now, what I want you guys to take note of, and I'm going to tell you first, is the speed of your animation is controlled by these little dots. Those are called frames. What your animation does is hop from one of these dots to another until it gets to a keyframe. So, if they're evenly spaced out, then our object is going to move at a constant speed. The closer they are together, the faster our object moves, or the slower our object moves. The more they're spaced out, the faster our object moves. So this is um, good. By default, they're evenly spaced out. But sometimes we want to have it look like it's accelerating or decelerating to make it look more realistic. As you can see right now, if he goes, it kind of looks like he's just sprinting out. And then he's going hitting a brick wall, and it's not very realistic. To make this uh, a little more realistic, we should have him start out kind of slow, then get faster, and then as he's stopping, kind of slow down a bit. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do that. Um, let's go to our last keyframe and make sure it's selected. If it's yellow, it's selected. Go up to Animation, go to Keyframe Assistant, and go to Easy Ease. The hotkey for this is F9. And once you hit that, you can see that your keyframe instead of a little diamond it turned into a little curvy yellow kinda looks like an hourglass kinda thing and another thing to take note of is that these dots are no longer evenly spaced out these are kind of um, farther apart meaning that our objects gonna go faster and at the end t the tighter together they are our objects gonna kinda slow down at the end it looks like he's coming to a nice stop so let's go ahead and I'll show you guys what it looks like as you can see, if you pay uh, careful attention, he just come to a nice stop at the end. So again, you can either highlight a keyframe and press F9. I can't press F9 though, because uh, my screen recorder will stop and do some crazy stuff if I press F9. But uh, and if not, animation, keyframe assistant, easy ease, and this will make all the frames around that keyframe um, ease in or ease out. Now, if you want to get rid of this, just hold down Control on your keyboard, or um, what is it, Command, I believe it's on a Mac, and just click. And again, if you want to get rid of it, hold down Control and click with your mouse. And these will put it back to the default, um, what's it called, the same speed throughout. So uh, if you want to, so that's pretty much how you ease in and ease out using a position path. And in my next tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to do this in very advanced. Uh, we learn how to just apply a default ease in and ease out. But if you want to give it a custom ease in and ease out, then I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do that using the graph editor in the next tutorial. So thank you guys for watching. Learn how to do ease in and ease out. And uh, once you learn that, you can move on to my next tutorial. So I'll see you then.